Alex Brooker, who is the first physically disabled player to participate in soccer. Last year was one of the greatest moments in my life, personally, to be part of Soccer Aid. It was an absolute privilege. But I've seen here the other side of, of Soccer Aid, which is what it's really here for. This is one of the biggest refugee camps in the world. Around 80,000 people live here. And under every roof is a family who fled the war in Syria and had to leave their lives behind. Amongst them are hundreds of children who are also disabled. I'm here to see how UNICEF is trying to help. This is the first playground of its type in any refugee camp in the world. There's a seesaw where you can get a wheelchair on it. There's a swing over there for people who can't hold on as well. The way it's all colour-coded, they thought of everything. The children, they just want to play and to actually be included. I can't say strongly enough, as someone who's experienced as a kid, uh, how big a bigger thing that is. God, I need to get some pace up, get some power in the legs. Oh, crikey. I felt like I was at Alton Towers. <laughs> and this speed demon is Alan. Alan was born missing four fingers on her left hand. And today, she's being fitted for a new prosthetic. <laughs> Through a UNICEF partnership, Alan's new hand has been designed and 3D printed right here in the camp, and all by volunteers who are Syrian refugees themselves. Alan lives here with her family. I'm Alex. Pleasure. This is the only home she has ever known. What drawings have you done here? This is what is. Your hand that is being made earlier is very cool. Uh, my my mum my mum and dad they told me exactly the same thing. When I was younger, I didn't like people always asking questions. But when you get older, like me, you realise that it's what's inside that counts. I know how she feels and, and how she, you know, and wanting to feel, feel complete. When we were talking about Ilan getting her hand, how she's going to feel about herself and her confidence, and it's weird because you, you, you're thinking about that rather than the fact, of, the fact that we're in a refugee camp. The truth is, children who are refugees are really vulnerable, and if on top of that they are also disabled, it makes them some of the most vulnerable children in the world. And there are so many like Ilan. UNICEF wants to make sure all children get the same opportunities, but they can't do it without you. To see the help that Ilan and the other children are getting through UNICEF, it made me feel proud to have been part of Soccer Aid. <laughs> when you think about it, it's really quite simple. The money we raise, the money that you donate, is going to help these people, and that's it. <laughs>